I've never been a car person. I don't care about cars particularly. I've never really cared about what sort of car I drive. But if I had to choose a favorite car, it would for sure be the DeLorean from Back to the Future. So I decided to try and build my own out of wood and found objects. This is how it went. Step one, find a reference to work from. For my reference model, I use this official Back to the Future DeLorean 1 15th scale model. It's essentially a kid's toy, but it is accurate. Step two, get measuring. So I found myself a 1 15th scale ruler on Google, printed that out and started measuring. I figured out the basic structure of the car and made a plan. Step three, just start building. I started from the wheels up. I'm not a mechanic or an engineer or a carpenter for that matter. I kind of learned as I went along. Step four, try not to hurt yourself. I say try because I did hurt myself. I cut my thumb, but I had a car to build, so I had to wrap it up and get on with the job. Lots of plywood, lots of cutting, lots of measuring, lots of guessing, paint job, electronics. Step five, plan a whole Back to the Future themed art show around this car. Building this car is pointless without somewhere to show it. I wanted people to enjoy it, so I decided to throw a party for it. This car was the centerpiece for my debut solo art show, Bootleg to the Future, a Back to the Future themed tribute show. Once the car is finished, what do we do with it? Step six, ask a bunch of awesome friends to help move the thing. You have to remember, this thing's built entirely out of wood. Those wheels are round, but only by eye. They're not perfect, kind of caveman version of a DeLorean. I had built it to fit exactly through the doors of the gallery. The opening starts. All you can do is party and enjoy. Seeing the way people reacted to the car, the way they smiled, the way that cars would slow down passing by, people would point and wonder what the hell was going on. The only reason I built the car, the only reason anyone would build a car out of wood, was to make people smile. I feel like the car achieved its purpose. It made me smile. The famous line in the movie when Marty tells him he doesn't have enough road to get to 88, Christopher Lloyd looks at him and says, where we're going, we don't need roads. That was kind of the point of this show. I wanted to see if I could get there on my own and forge my own path and base a whole art show around this and build a car out of pieces of wood. In the end it worked, so I guess it's true. We don't need roads. And that's the story of how I built a DeLorean out of wood and junk.